If you're gonna say no to somebody or some tribe or some person, there's a very light, there's a high chance that you're gonna to have to fight that person. You have to defend your idea. If you don't have the propensity or the capability to defend your idea, then why would you go against the ideas of the people who are stronger than you? So reducing testosterone levels make men more compliant and more complacent because we're less likely to say no because we can't defend what we think. Why would we say you're wrong, but we can't do anything about it? We might as well just say, well, then you're right. Might makes right. Right. So reducing testosterone levels in men is something which I believe they're trying very hard to do. And if you read the studies, they're succeeding. Testosterone levels have gone off the, off the edge, off the cliff. And perhaps that's why they attack smoking so heavily. I understand that smoking a lot of cigarettes can be very bad for you, but I think everything in moderation. And I think that overall, I would rather smoke a few cigars today and maintain my testosterone level, which it's good for, than, than not. I think the, the benefits outweigh the negatives.